Hello, my name is Dr. Laura Anderko from Georgetown University School of Nursing and Health Studies. Uh, I'm going to share in the next couple minutes some of the work that I'm doing uh, around climate change and health uh, with, the, uh, with the hope that this work may uh, motivate you to consider your own practice and how you may integrate uh, or implement um, some actions that will uh, help people improve their health in spite of the climate changes. Uh, a couple years ago, I conducted a research study with the DC Department of Health, uh, an epidemiological study, to look at those populations most at risk for asthma hospitalizations as it relates to the increasing heat that we're seeing with climate change. Uh, what we found was that African American children and women were by far more likely to be hospitalized. Uh, with that in mind, I conducted a couple focus groups with African American uh, parents and families uh, to determine the best way to communicate these risks um, as our heat continues to go up, particularly in the summer months. Uh, what I found was that there was a huge interest from parents to institute the EPA Air Quality Flag Program. This program can be found at airnow.gov and what it, uh, what it essentially does is has different colored flags that children put up um, each school day in anticipation of the following school day to let folks know how the air quality is going to be. Uh, green is excellent and purple is hazardous to our health. Uh, I was able to work with some school nurses in the DC uh, area and uh, conducting some community-based participatory research right now to look at the impacts of instituting these programs within schools. Preliminary results show um, a high level of satisfaction of both families and uh, teachers and principals with an increased knowledge uh, level on as the heat goes up, air quality goes down uh, during our climate change and extreme heat events. Uh, I hope that uh, you can consider ways to integrate some of some of the um, interesting and beneficial practices uh, in your work setting and uh, in your professional uh, work. Thank you.